Hi everyone, it's Yvonne Heath with Love Your Life to Death and I can't believe we've already done 14 blogs and vlogs sharing messages, uh, empowering people to live well, grieve well and die well and I just thought it would be, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about a few of the things that we've shared and uh, the first was our journey with our dog Kuba who was nearing end of life and that emotional roller coaster of making decisions and, and planning for his end of life right to the day he died and I have to say it was so it was so empowering for our family to talk about plan and prepare long before we were facing it. It helped us navigate through our grief and I encourage anybody and everybody to have those conversations long before you are facing it. We were able to show up and talking about being able to be present at end of life. If we develop coping skills and strategies uh, long before we are facing it, if we create a soft landing for ourselves in life and at end of life and have our beliefs about what what do we believe about end of life and, and this journey here on earth it will help us to navigate through and show up for others talked about having our post what do we believe internally and having something to hang on to that uh, will be there for us no matter what in times of despair or sadness or loneliness that meditation or religion your spirituality music meditation even yoga or nature something that you can you can hold on to what is your post and other things to live fully is knowing how to just show up for people in times of grief. We know that it's uncomfortable and we can't fix it. And you know, if you lead with your heart, you will be able to help. Just show up, lead with your heart. But with that, the thing that often we forget about is that we need to show up for ourselves first. We need to take really good care of ourselves so that we can take care of others. And the best thing to do, the best example you can be, is to be a great self-caregiver. And you have value and you are important, so make that a priority. Be a great bucket filler, random acts of kindness, make people smile. Those are all the things that help you to live fully. When you are grieving, the greatest thing you can do is go out and do something great for someone else. It really does make a difference and imagine it if everybody uh, felt that way. So let's see, what else did we do? Um, we also, it was so incredible to talk to people uh, like Deb Knobelsdorf who uh, says who's happy if I'm sad after her her son was killed many years ago she uh, still aspires to help make people happy and people at the transplant games where we met wonderful adult our uh, families and athletes living life to the fullest we talked about Luz Dash who had a dream of building a, a creating a kids camp and did so and lived his life to the very fullest for 58 years and so much more. I'm just, I'm so thrilled that I have been able to share these stories with you and I would love to hear your stories, your thoughts, and, um, and any suggestions you might have. I'm learning as I go along and I'll, I just aspire to empower a love your, life to de love your life to death community so you can in turn empower others and uh, we can continue to learn from each other. I look forward to hearing from you and thank you so much for being a part of this.